Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Martin Truex Jr.'s first career truck series win. And of all the tracks, it's a dirt race. Who to put it that way? I sure wouldn't have. But let's go ahead and see uh, what this all comes with. It's an awesome looking truck, but we'll start with the winner card here. Martin Truex Jr., the Pinty's Truck Race on Dirt. Uh, winner, Bristol, Tennessee, March 29th, 2021. I think it was March 29th? Yeah, it got rained out. That's what happened. I remember that. It got rained out two days in a row because there was boatloads of rain. Um, time of the race, 1 hour, 49 minutes, and 30 seconds. Started 15th on the day, uh, 150 total laps. Number of cautions, 12 for 54 laps. Not bad. Could have been worse. Uh, led 105 laps and won by 4 seconds. So, pretty dominating race uh, for Martin Truex on the dirt. Again, not really something he was pegged for, but uh, we do have a Truck Series race winning sticker here. And then we do have our number 51 truck right here in front of us. We'll start, though, with the box. Uh, we have a Camping World Truck Series box, just like our Cup and Xfinity boxes. Um, same art style, just a different logo. And you can see we do have the blue winner sticker and the raced win logo. There you can see the render of the truck. Uh, all that dirt up front, KBM. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this new rendering angle. I, I kind of like the other one because it showed more of the side. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh... Total production quantity, 2,136. Plenty of these made. There's going to be an autograph run as well. So there will be some of those out there um, available at some point. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at this truck. As you can see, down the left side, you can see plenty of the dirt and scuff marks up here on the front, caked with the red Tennessee clay. It's a lot more of a brown dirt. Um, you know, up here in Iowa, we have a lot of black dirt. Um, you, that's why you look at like a Knoxville or a place like that. It's very dark as a racetrack, where this one was much more gray, or not brown, or not gray brown it's much more brown and red um of a color so you can see that up on the windshield very brown very muddy look muddy looking um you can see a little mark up here but not too bad we got our number 51 the auto owners paint scheme looking really really sharp in that matte blue uh you can see we got auto owners insurance back here cessna trd noble sirius xm tons of sponsors back here kbm rowdy um there you can see the auto owner's logo there as well. You got the winner sticker up there along with Martin Truex Jr. Camping World on the windshield banner. Uh, Toyota on the rear uh, roll bar here. And then we got Truex Jr. on the rear window. On the back of the car, you can see we got Rowdy Energy at Food City. And Toyota, we got Simple Human Sense and Auto Owner's Insurance. Um, not really anything else crazy there. You do have the... Uh, Stickers down there for 18 and 51 for KBM. Also, it does have the dirt tires, something that I almost did forget to mention. There you can see we do have the dirt tires under here. So they are treaded tires, uh, kind of rounded looking. Same ones that were on a lot of the other cars uh, that ran, you know, at Eldora. Got auto, auto owner's insurance back here. You can see a little bit more mud and a little bit more dirt back here. Uh, but he did keep the truck clean. He was kind of far and away the better truck of the day. Um, so very, not a ton of like wheel marks or dents or scratches, but just, you know, dirt. And dirt's good. So um, you can see as we go back around to the front here, a lot of mud once you get to the very front. You can see like uh, almost a filter that sits over the front air intake. Um, so you can see it almost looks like a black garbage bag. But yeah, it's it's a filter they used. You can see 51 really caked in mud there. The splitters caked in mud. Just this area of the truck really, really dirty because that's really the only area that, you know, was getting hit with uh, the mud. You can see up here they scrubbed the windshield clean so he could see. But uh, other sections of the windshield had plenty of mud on them. Uh, up here on the roof, number 51. I don't know if I pointed that out yet. But overall, you can look at it. It's a really nice paint scheme. Even if you hadn't won, very nice looking truck. The, the auto owner's paint scheme does look really nice on the 51. Um, like I said, it is his first career truck series win, so that's pretty cool. Um, that and with the... the unique truck paint scheme is pretty cool so definitely uh i would put this one on like an eight out of a ten not a lot of race damage but it is a dirt race win R dirt race wins are always good they're always solid so um i gotta give this one an eight out of ten on the race win scale paint scheme scale too it's it's a good paint scheme you know if it, the paint scheme wasn't as good it may not get as high a rating but um it is still a really sharp race version i highly recommend it for you truck series collectors out there um, but yeah, that's, this is definitely a, a really solid raced version. Uh, you know, even with the tires, the tires are, uh, another, one of those really neat, uh, aspects. So, uh, it'd be interesting. We'll see what the new, uh, Toyota looks like, uh, this year with the new, the new body they're running in the truck series. But, um, anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the bell and subscribe for more diecast content. Um, but other than that, this has been Race Grace. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next diecast review.